Princess Catherine re-wore one of her most flattering dresses ever for a day of engagements in Bedfordshire, on Wednesday. She and her husband, Prince William, also made a visit to the Youth's Cape Project, which specialises in providing support for young adults in their social, emotional, and spiritual development. Taking a page from the fashion legacy of her late mother-in-law, Princess Diana, Princess Catherine continues to captivate us with her impeccable style choices. Whether it's her vibrant smocks or her elegant haute couture evening gowns, her wardrobe is undeniably fit for royalty. On this particular Wednesday, Catherine, now recognised as the Princess of Wales, to open the Youth's Cape Centre in Luton wearing a Larsa Popper print dress by L.K. Bennett. The dress, a structured column with elbow-length sleeves, featured bold blue flowers scattered across it and stopped just at her knee. Her loyalty to this luxury label remains unwavering, as she consistently reserves her classic looks for official engagements. On less formal occasions, Princess Catherine displays her fashion-forward side, as seen with her choice of a printed Alexander McQueen dress worn at Wimbledon. The mother of three accessorized the summery piece with a nude pair of heels and a matching clutch also by the High Street label. She completed the elegant look with a pair of sapphire and diamond earrings matched her 12-carat engagement ring, an heirloom from the late Princess Diana. Even in the heat, Princess Catherine's bouncy blow-dry appeared as flawless as ever, leaving us all eager to discover her hair-styling secrets. Remarkably, this isn't the first time Catherine has showcased the poppy print dress. It initially made its debut in 2014 during a royal visit to New Zealand and Australia, where she wore it during a tour of a Royal Australian Air Force base. The princess is clearly now a total pro at recycling dresses, all while making her look feel completely new. Her trick? Changing up her accessories. Instead of wearing the navy suede pumps and light blue clutch from 2014, she paired today's look with her often worn LK Bennett nude fern pumps and had a matching clutch in her hands. Princess Catherine and Prince William embarked on their day at Butte Mills to witness the efforts of the youth charity Youth's Cape before engaging with other local mental health and youth organisations. Throughout the day, the royal couple dedicated their time to visiting youth projects and engaging with mental health groups. Later, they paid a visit to Keach Hospice Care to meet and converse with families, friends, and volunteers while unveiling a plaque commemorating 25 years of the adult hospice's service. Prince Catherine, in particular, continues her ongoing commitment to highlighting the significance of supporting children from a young age. She participated in a family portage session at a specialised centre in Kent, making a serious point about the importance of supporting children with special educational needs and disabilities, along with their families. The Princess of Wales, wearing a red Zara buccal jacket, skinny trousers, and flat pumps, with her hair elegantly swept back into a bun, further solidified her reputation as the children's princess through her active participation. This visit to the Orchard Centre in Sittingbourne, Kent, was a part of her Shaping Us campaign, which underscores the potential for every child in Britain to receive a better start in life. Portage, a service in England and Wales, aids children with special educational needs and disabilities from birth until preschool age, collaborating with families to support their children's development through play and learning. The National Portage Association, celebrating its 40th anniversary this year, collaborates with over 100 portage services, providing a quality framework and training for practitioners and parents.